<laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, you program. You bought some lipstick? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can't get a real kiss from us. Yeah, yeah, well, there you go. There you go. That's a good way. Now we're talking. Yes. Is it running? Yes, it's okay. running. Okay. Uh, now we have the big pleasure and the big honor to be next to Richard Harry, who was one of the win winners of the Eurovision Song Contest with your brothers, the Harrays. Nice, yes. to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And, um, that was the year? Which year did you win? Uh, it was so long ago, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, it was in 90, no, 90, no, 84. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell us a bit of, of the memories here from that year, in, at, at the Eurovision Sound Contest back then. Uh, well, I was quite young and it is uh, quite a while ago, but uh, I remember very well that we, uh, it was in Luxembourg, uh, and uh, we, were, we stayed at a hotel, uh, not with the other delegations, but uh, with Norway, I think. We were only two delegations at this hotel, it's a small hotel, and uh, we spent uh, most days doing interviews. And uh, we were uh, number one, so we came to the arena very early to rehearse, because we started as number one, and uh, we didn't see very many of the other people. Uh, I remember that <laughs> when we first came in the arena, it was just people, you know, doing cleaning up and doing stuff, so we're like, excuse me, excuse me, we have to, but uh, it was a very nice week, it was a very nice experience, and uh, especially the last day was uh, terrific, and uh, no, it was, it was good. Uh, were you surprised when you won? Was it something that you expected, or did people talk about you as a, a potential winner before the final? Uh, there was some talk among some people. Uh, I listened to the others and I said, well, maybe we have a chance here, it looks good. Uh, but I wasn't uh, that uh, uh, objective, because <laughs> I like my own song. No, but uh, it, it was, uh, some people thought we, we had a chance. Uh, we were fairly high up on the betting list, but so it was, yeah. Did you actually have a favorite in that Eurovision Song Contest? Another favorite of the others? Did, did you, yeah, yes. No, not really, I thought, I mean, the, we, we ate dinner and we, we had the Norwegian delegation in our hotel, so we liked the Norwegian girls and their song and the Holly Deluxe and it was, you know, but that they came in second to last or something, I don't know, but very far down. But, uh, but I thought, you know, Ireland had was a good song and I thought, uh, I thought Spain had a good song too, I think. Lady, 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 something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, do you still can do that dance routine you did with the golden shoes, the boys in the golden shoes? Yes, in slow motion I do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Not as quickly, <laughs> but uh, it's... Uh, oh, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. But you have been participating in this uh, famous TV program Let's Dance. Mm -hmm. So uh, you are quite an uh, experienced dancer nowadays as well, aren't you? Uh, uh, yes, I, yes, exactly. I did this uh, big thing in Let's Dance. It was a very nice program to do. Uh, it was a very fun experience for me. Uh, I always like to dance though. I've always danced in, uh, in a whole lot of different arenas and, and venues, so yeah, it's good, it's fun. I tell you, the Eurovision fan club in Luxembourg, OGE Luxembourg, they had a convention on uh, the 17th of uh, October and they organized a tour for, for the Eurovision fans to actually go to where you won the Eurovision Song Contest. Ah, okay. And people kissed the ground. No, no, I don't <laughs> It's true, it's true, no, 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 pictures, no, no, yes? No, 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 believe me. It, it's just a small concert arena I and mean, I remember it was very small. Uh, I mean, it was small, but I mean, it wasn't grandiose or like a big, you know, 20,000 people or something like that. It was just, I don't know, 700 people or something, 800 people maybe, I don't know, in a regular concert hall. And, and uh, it, was, it was nice, but it, was, uh, it, was, it didn't feel as big or as, as uh, momentous uh, when you were there. It was just, yeah, it was just a TV show, sort of. <laughs> uh, the, the other two, two brothers you yeah. brought with you, uh, what are they doing nowadays? Uh, one is a lawyer, he works with the music and, and rights and, and stuff like that, and uh, for the Swedish uh, Musicians Union. And, uh, and the other one is a, a, a teacher or a, what do you call it, a headmaster, sort of, for, okay. uh, yeah, he, he works with the education. But uh, they don't And what are you anymore. doing? Sorry. And what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I don't know, what am I doing? What am I doing here? I have no idea. Uh, I, uh, well, I, I sing a little bit every once in a while, and I do a little bit and that, and uh, 
uh, right now, uh, after having been in America for a few years and uh, after having run uh, music theater in Stockholm, I, I now run one of the one of the more successful uh, entertainment restaurants in uh, Stockholm. What is that? Which one is it? Golden Hits. We have to go there one time and, and experience. Oh, well, you, you should. It's a very fun place, and uh, unfortunately for me, a very successful place.